Green keying is the most used visual effect in Hollywood and can be found everywhere. And if you do it correctly, you won't even notice it. But how can we as a simple video creator achieve the best possible green key? Well, let's dive into After Effects and find out. First, we need some green screen footage and I have this beautiful shot I'm going to keep. However, I'm not going to explain how you can shoot the best green screen footage. That's an entire tutorial on itself. And if you really want to know, just comment down below and we will help you out. So with my footage in the timeline, let's go to the effects and presets panel. And in this panel, you can find every effect you want. But for this tutorial, I'm looking for the key light effect. In the search box, I type in key light and drag it to my footage. And nothing happens. That's because I first need to select our screen color. As default, it's set to black, but I want it to be green. Well, simple. I just select a color picker and select a green color in my footage. I mostly select the green close to my subject. And poof, the green is gone. And I have a tip here. If you hold the control key while hovering over the green, you'll notice that the color picker will become bigger. This will also reflect in the color selection. After Effects will select a wider range of green, making the key slightly better. However, this isn't a good key yet. I need to tweak some more settings. Okay, hi there. The next step will be some masking. With the pen tool, which you can find in the top toolbar, I'm going to draw a rough mask around my subject. I'm doing this because sometimes you have hot spots or darker spots on the edge of the green screen. I just want to remove everything that doesn't need to be there. But okay, let's fine tune our key. First step, change the view from final result to combined matte. This will give us an insight of what is keyed and what not. Everything black is gone and everything white is still visible in the end result. However, I can see some gray noise in our subject and this is what I want to remove. So let's adjust the next properties. I'm gonna slightly tweak the clip white and black to refine my key. I can drag the values around more precisely while holding the control key. And after doing this, you should already have a good key. One more tip to remove noise. Sometimes it helps to adjust the replace method from soft color to hard. I found out it helps with noise in darker colors. Now last thing we need to do is fix those nasty edges. And for this I have a very nice tool. We're going to leave the key light effect and look for the refine hard matte effect. With this effect I can feather the edges, but I'm not overdoing it. For contrast I will lower it to around 10%, otherwise the edges will be too sharp. Now a very important adjustment is setting the reduce shatter to zero. I don't know what it is, but this property always makes my key look bad. And now two reasons why I use this effect instead of using the other key light settings. Reason one, the motion blur option. This one is quite self-explanatory. It brings back motion in your subject's movements, making your key so much more believable. And the reason two is the decontaminate edge colors function. This is sort of a spill suppression and really helps with cleaning up those edges. There you go, we have a beautiful key. You can now place yourself wherever you want by simply adding footage behind your keyed out subject. And I have another tip. If you really have a lot of green spill in your subject, you can use the advanced spill suppression. It will already work from the get-go when I add it to my footage, but you can also refine it to your own needs. Just change the method from standard to ultra. And again, with the pick whip tool, you can select a green color for a better spill suppression. And then you can fine tune the settings some more, but I tend to leave them as they are. Now, let's say you want to remove the background, but your footage doesn't have a green screen in it. Well, you can simply use rotoscoping that. And in the video on my left, you'll learn everything about it. Thank you guys so much for watching.